Hello everyone, today we are going to learn Don't Worry Be Happy by Bobby McFerrin um, which is a really really cool little song, really happy song a lot of positive memories from my childhood with this one um, so yeah let's get to it, so it's going to sound something like this You get the idea. So it's going to sound like that. So I'm going to move to a close-up. I'm going to go through this bar by bar so you can play it too. Cool. So here we are a little bit closer in. So let's start with the first bar. We're going to strum, and I use my thumb for this. We're going to strum a C chord, which is 0003. Then we're going to pluck the open note of the bottom string. Then we're going to pluck on three of the E string. And the timing for that is going to be one two three four one more time strong to open and then third fret of the e string nice and easy way in that's the first bar into the second bar so we're going to pluck the open bottom string again we're going to put our second finger on the second fret of the c string Then an open E string. And then what I'm doing after that is I'm plucking the G and the E string together. And I've got my third finger on the third fret of the E string. Then I'm lifting that off and plucking again with my index finger. Then I'm dropping my second finger on that second fret of the C string again. And lifting it off. And the timing for this is going to be... One and two, three and four and. I'll just play that one more time. One and two, three and four and. So if I put that together with the first bar, so just the first two bars now, we're going to have this. Starting to get that feel now. Onto our third bar now. So we're going to put our second and third fingers on fret two of the G and C strings and pluck that. Then we're going to pluck the open E string. Then just pluck the C string, leaving our two fingers in place. And then we're going to drop our index finger on the first fret of the E string. So we've got an F shape. And we're going to pluck twice. And this is the bit where we get into the the rhythm that's running throughout the song, really. And the way I'm playing that is I'm plucking twice and then I'm just dropping my hand back on because you don't want it to ring out, really. It's got quite a sort of punchy little feel, this. So we don't want it to sound like this. We want more of this. So you'll hear me drop my hand on just to mute those strings and it sounds a lot better. So that third bar now is, if I just play it through slowly, timing is one and two, three and. Cool, so if I'm gonna put the first three bars all together now. Cool, into the fourth bar. So we're gonna start with our um, plucking of the uh, G and the E strings with our F shape in place. So the same way we ended bar three. And then we've just got a little run down. So we're going to drop our third finger on the third fret of the E string. Lift it off. Pluck the open string there. Drop our second finger on the second fret of the C string. Lift it off and pluck that string again. So that bar, bar four, is going to be something like this. So it's going to be one and two, three and four and. One more time there. One and two, three and four and. Okay, so I'll just run through the first four bars now quite slowly. along quite 
quite nicely here and that will take us into bar five. So bar five is very much the same. In fact, it's identical to our third bar. So I'm not gonna spend much time on this, but it's, it's our third bar again. So that's bar five. One and two, three and mute. And that takes us into bar six, which starts exactly the same as bar four. So we've just got another double pluck on that F shape. And then we have an open E string, um, C string fretted at fret two, and take that off, pluck twice. Cool, so I'll play, let me play that with the timing in place. So we have one and two, three and four and. So that's almost sort of us through the intro now. Um, we just got two more bars of the intro, so that is bars seven and eight. So bar seven is gonna be entirely open, so the fretting hand's doing no work here whatsoever. And we're gonna pluck the G and the C strings together for one beat. And then we're gonna pluck the G and E strings together, and it's gonna be that rhythm again, that sort of do 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 Cool, so that's gonna be mute, and then and the timing for that bar is going to be one, two, and three, four, and. And that just takes us into bar eight, um, which is our F shape on again. There's going to be a little pause, so we're not going to play the first beat, but we're going to play one, two, and three, four, and. So that's the entire intro now. So I'll just play through it once. Um, again, just going through all the bars. So that's all of our intro and the intro actually repeats two times so you've got that we would just play that again before arriving at the verse okay on to the verse uh, which starts with the line here's a little song i wrote so we're going to start by um either plucking or strumming the g c and e string and then we're going to put our second finger on the second fret of the c string give it as a d note pluck the open e string Look the C string that's fretted at D again. So that's bar one. So we've got a, a two beat break. So it's one, two, three, and four, and. Nice and easy that bar. So that's one, two, three, and four, and. Quite easy. Uh, into bar 10. And we're gonna start with uh, open E string. Another open E string. Then we're going to drop our third finger on the third fret of the E string, giving us a G note, and we're going to strum the G, C, and E strings together. So I'm going to put those two bars together now. So the open two bars of the verse, which is here's a little song I wrote. Okay, so hopefully you can sort of hear the melody coming through there. And then we're going to move into bars 11 and 12. So just before we start bar 11, um, we're gonna pluck this open A string. And then as we start bar 11, we're gonna drop our second and third fingers on fret two of the G and C strings, and we're gonna pluck that once. Then we're gonna pluck the C string, still a bit fretted at the second fret. Take your finger off. Pluck those top two strings fretted at fret two again and then take that third finger off and pluck that C string again. And then we're just gonna pluck the open E string. So we need to get the rhythm right for that one. So the rhythm for this bar, bar 11, is gonna be one, two, and three, and four, and. It's quite hard to say, so I'm just gonna play it, so hopefully you'll get that. So it's gonna be one, two, and three, and four, so there's quite a few notes there that are off the beat. So the first half of it is not too bad. So the first half of that bar is one, two, and. And then for the second half of that bar, we've got three and four, and. 
and then I'm going to move it to bar 12, which has just got three notes in it. And the three notes are um, the open C string, so a C note, a D note by dropping our um, second finger on the second fret of that C string, and then an open E string, given as an E note. So the timing for bar 12 is going to be one and two and three and four. So I'm going to put those two bars together, 11 and 12 now. So we're going to have something like this. And if you're not sure, think of the lyrics for this part of the song. So here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note is this part. So you might want to sing it. <laughs> I'm sort of singing and it's not really nice, is it? Um, anyway, so moving on to bars 13, 14, 15 and 16, we're back into the sort of the... Okay, so for to get this sort of rhythm in again, so we're going to start with our second finger on the second fret of the G string. And we're going to pluck twice, mute, twice, mute. The same for the next bar, so this is bar 14. You, and then we're just going to pick up this E string right at the end there. So the rhythm for bar 14 is going to be 1 and 2, 3 and 4. But it's got a sort of punchy sort of... It's not played dead straight, this song. There's a bit of a swing to it, so you've got to give it a little bit of feeling as well. So those two bars together, 13 and 14, sound like this. Then we're just going to take our second finger off here and we're going to play more or less the same. So I'm just plucking twice, muting, twice muting, and I'm doing that twice, so four times. So nice and easy that part, which takes us into really the final part of, of this song. Um, so um, this is where Bobby is singing in every life we have some trouble so the timing's a little bit different here but generally it's still quite simple so we're going to start with an open g note and then we're going to strum or pluck the g c and e str strings together drop our second finger on that d note that we've played quite a lot throughout this song on the c string there at fret two play the open e string back to that d note and back to our open E. So the timing for this bar, um, we're going to miss the first half beat, so it's going to be one and two and three, four and. Sounds like that when it's speeded up a little bit. Um, this takes us into bar 18, um, which we don't have a lot of playing to do. Um, so we're going to have an open uh, G note again. And we're going to drop our third finger onto the third fret of the E string, given as a G note. And we're going to pluck those three strings together, G, C and E. And we're just going to play that open G again. So that's all the notes for this bar. The timing for bar 18, everything's going to be played on the and. So everything's off the beat in this bar. So we've got one and two and three and four. So I'm going to play bars 17 and 18 now, which are going to sound like this. So in every life we have some trouble. You can hear that sort of coming through there. Into bar 19. So for bar 19, we're going to start with an open G string. We're going to drop our second and third fingers on fret two of the G and C strings. Pluck both of those. Again, take your um, third finger off and just pluck the open C string. Drop it back on and pluck the G and C strings together. Pluck the C string, but keeping it fretted at fret two. Then take it off. And then also pluck the open E string. So that bar, the timing for that is going to be... We're going to miss the first half beat, but everything else is just a half beat. So we've got one and two and three and four and in 
into bar 20. So bar 20 starts with an open C string. We drop our second finger on the second fret for the D note. Pluck that once. Take it off and pluck that string again. And then pluck the open E string. Uh, the timing for this bar is going to be, we're going to miss the first half beat again. So it's going to be one and two and three and four. One more time. That is one and two and three and four. So then we're going to be into bars. 21, 22, 23, and 24, and really they're the final bars for this because everything else is just repeated. And we're gonna have, um, it's just that sort of punchy little rhythm again. So drop our second finger on the second fret of the G string. And then take it off for the final two bars. So that is pretty much it for Don't Worry Be Happy. Hopefully um, it wasn't too difficult to learn and it's quite a nice one to play because it's a nice bright uplifting song. It's a little bit of finger picking um, but not too much and it's not too difficult. It's also one that you can have quite a bit of fun with once you get it down and, and give it a little bit more vibe than maybe what I walked through when I did it quite slowly. Um, if you want to get the tab for this you can head over to Patreon uh, which is just patreon.com slash ukulele go. Um, where all the tabs are available and there are loads of other lessons as well. Um, but good luck with it and thanks for watching as always.